Hey, what is going on guys, Tech Enthusiast here and this is a camera comparison video between the Huawei Mate 20 Pro against the iPhone XS Max. These two phones are arguably the best phones available right now. How good are the cameras? Let's find out in this video. Just before starting the camera comparison, here is an overlook of the camera specs. The Huawei Mate 20 Pro has a triple camera setup, a 40 megapixel standard lens, a 20 megapixel ultra wide angle and an 8 megapixel telephoto lens with OIS. The iPhone XS Max has a dual 12 megapixel camera which has OIS and 2x telephoto. As for the video recording, the Mate 20 Pro can record up to 4K at 30 frames per second and 1080p at 60 frames per second. For slow motion video, it can record up to 240 frames per second at 1080p and 960 frames per second at 720p. The iPhone XS Max can record up to 4K at 60 frames per second and it can record slow motion video in 1080p at 120 frames per second or 240 frames per second. Starting things off is this rose and I would say it looks better on the iPhone XS Max as you can see some of the shadows and also the petals are more distinguishable than the Mate 20 Pro. Next is the 8-bit dog control pad. It is a little warmer looking on the iPhone XS Max and perhaps more accurate than the Mate 20 Pro. Here are some different colors and the Mate 20 Pro looks less aggressive than the iPhone XS Max. The yellow and the red definitely doesn't look this bright so the Mate 20 Pro has better color accuracy here. Once again you can see more of the red and the iPhone XS Max has not done a good job here. This photo of the microphone was taken next to the window to see how it fares with the light coming in. I'm not seeing any drastic differences here. They look quite similar to each other. Here's the first portrait photo. The Mate 20 Pro looks a bit warmer which you can also tell by looking at the sky but the iPhone XS Max doesn't look good here. The skin looks pale. Here is the second portrait photo, they look similar to each other in terms of details but once again a little warmer look on the Mate 20 Pro. Here is a portrait photo with a toy figure, the iPhone XS Max did better here with the colour as you can see more but the edge detection is way better on the Mate 20 Pro. Here is a telephoto between the two phones, the iPhone XS Max is using 2x zoom and the Mate 20 Pro is using 5x hybrid zoom and it is superior of the two. Moving on to indoor photos with room lighting and the microphone on the Mate 20 Pro looks better than the iPhone XS Max as it is cleaner and sharper which you can tell by looking at the mesh. On this photo the Mate 20 Pro is a little bit sharper and has less noise however the iPhone XS Max has captured the room lighting better. And on this photo the difference here is the room lighting and some noise on the iPhone XS Max. Moving on to outdoor low light photos, the Mate 20 Pro was using night mode and you can see so much more compared to the iPhone XS Max, just look at the top of the sign. In this partial photo of a dashboard, again the Mate 20 Pro looks better here, the iPhone XS Max has a lot of noise. And the last photo, they look like they were taken at different times, again the Mate 20 Pro is better here. This is a focus test recording on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro to see how fast it focuses with the background and the foreground object. This is a focus test recording on the iPhone XS Max to see how fast it focuses with the background and the foreground object. In this video comparison, do look out for the animated speaker icons so you know which device the audio is coming from. Okay, so this is a 1080p video recording on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro against the iPhone XS Max. So here we have gulls on this side there. Yep, as usual, they are flying away. Uh, it's a decent day, as you can tell. So there's not a lot of ducks on this side. So what I'm going to do is a short job to see the stabilization between the two. And stop here. This is a 4K 30 frames per second video recording on the Huawei Mate 20 Pro against the iPhone XS Max. 
Now I'm recording at 30 frames per second because the Mate 20 Pro doesn't support 60 frames per second. So I'll just do a short jog to see how the video stabilization is between the two. And let's just take a look what we have here. So we've got a lot of gulls down there, a few pigeons, and a few ducks over on the other side. So let's just take a view around the side and that'll be that for this video. So that is the end of this camera shootout. For daylight photos, I would say the Mate 20 Pro was better overall. It didn't overexpose some colors like the yellows and the reds we saw earlier. For portrait photos, the Mate 20 Pro was better again. It was also better with the edge detection with smaller subjects. The Mate 20 Pro also has better zooming capabilities, up to 5 times which is hybrid. As for the indoor photos, the Mate 20 Pro was better in terms of details and had very little noise. Having said that, the iPhone XS Max was better at capturing the room lighting better. For outdoor low light photos, the Mate 20 Pro was better thanks to the night mode. For video recording, the stabilization is better on the iPhone XS Max and it also records video with stereo sound. The Mate 20 Pro is limited to 4K at 30 frames per second whereas the iPhone XS Max can do 4K at 60 frames per second. As for slow motion video, the Mate 20 Pro can record the same frame rate as the iPhone XS Max as well as 960 frames per second at 720p. So what did you think of this comparison video? Which of the phones will you or have you bought? Do let me know in the comment section. I personally think the Mate 20 Pro is the better phone as you are getting a lot more for the money such as a massive battery, expandable storage, in-screen fingerprint reader and reverse wireless charging. If you have enjoyed this video then please give it a thumbs up. If you are new here then do consider subscribing to see more videos. I am planning to get the Pixel 3 and OnePlus 6T to do similar comparison videos so make sure you enable the bell icon to get notified when those videos release. Do follow me on Twitter and Instagram and like always thanks for watching and I will catch up with you in the next video.